Bonjour tout le monde. Today new video and we're going to talk about DTX Implant Studio and how to download it and to install it. I have few customers quite often they give me a call and ask me how they can install it or sometimes I'm just doing it remotely through TeamViewer but I don't always have the time to go on TeamViewer and do the installation for you especially if there is pretty bad internet it takes a bit of it takes a while for the file to download and then by the time it's ready I'm might be in another meeting or you might be busy with your computer. So let's have a look at my screen together. So head on your web browser, it doesn't matter which one you use, and just type go.dtxstudio.com. All right guys, once on the website, just enter your credentials. So your username is most of the time your first name dot your last name. And your password, if you don't remember it, it's fine. Just click on forgotten password and this will take you to another page and we send you a link on your email, which whichever email you've set up your account with. If you don't remember which email you used to set up your account, just call your rep, it would be more than happy to help you with that. I don't know my password by heart, so I have to check on my notes, of course. And we are. All right, once on that page, you're gonna see on the left inside of the screen, outgoing orders, incoming requests, connections, software, devices, local production, and all of the other tool. Here we're gonna go straight to software, this is a list of software we have because I'm obviously part of the processor department in Australia, so I have access to all of them. But what you want to do, you want to look for your DTX Studio implant software. To the viewer one and make sure it's the software one. Click on details. Once there, you're going to see DTX Studio implant, Noble Boy okay, with the latest version, and you're going to have the option to download either the Windows version or the Mac version. I'm currently working on the Mac, so I'm going to download the Mac version. Then below that, you're going to have an installation key, which have all, that's going to be your installation key and an equipment ID. Underneath this, you're going to have the amount of user. So the amount of user depends on your license, if you're on a practice license or a single license. For the single license, you can have up to two or three users on top of my head. And all the way down to the bottom, you got the installations. So installation is how many computer can you install that software on and use the same key? So here we only have two installations simply because it is a single user license type, not a practice user license type. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna look at if we still have two installations available. Sometimes you might just update and have a new computer. If that's the case, click on the three dot here Click on the three right here, and once that's done, just remove the installation from the computer. This will remove the installation from another computer, and it's going to unlink, unlink that computer to the software. Simply click on Mac, or Windows for my case, and the installation will start. Alright, so once this is downloaded, just add to your download folder, double click on the file. This is going to start the installation. It's pretty easy, step-by-step -step installation. Uh, you're going to need to pick the disk you want to install the software in. Press next. Let the software do its things. And once you're in there, the software is going to start the installation. Once this is done, the software is going to start. Just press continue and follow the step-by-step -step installation process. You're going to need to copy-paste your key that we found earlier. Press continue. Select the disk where you want to install the software in and then you're going to need to download the library. For this example, I'm just going to download the Noble Biocare library, but you can download any library in our list. Press continue. This is a really long download process, so I've cut it out into the post edit. But once this is done, the software is going to start again. And once the software starts, you're gonna need to enter your credential again, which is your first name, dot last name, plus your password. Tick the automatic login, so you don't need to enter your password every single time you go into the software. Thank you for listening. 
please let me know if you want to know more about DTX Implant Studio or if you like that kind of small videos and also please tell me if you want to hear about a specific product from the Noble Biocare range and don't forget keep on smiling